first of all, she's gonna have some style. Every single time she came back there, she popped that paw up. Like, look at me, baby. Hey everybody, Ethan here with Standing Stone, and today we're gonna to be doing the positive pigeon drill. This is one of my favorite things to do with a young puppy, and I'm gonna tell you why. First of all, it shows a lot of stuff, okay? We get the pigeons out, we let the pigeon go, we're working on developing standing, utilizing positive reinforcement, the bird being the reinforcer in this situation, and then also, we have the opportunity to evaluate desire, the chase, the amount of comeback and point me and how fast all these things happen really tells me a lot about what that individual dog has the potential to be and how fast they're gonna to get to each individual categories. Now, this little girl, Shock, is four months old and she will start hunting with me in mid-October. Gives me three months to get her ready. I'm sure there's quite a few of you folks out there watching this video right now as what I would consider our first true introduction to birds and going, I've got about the same time to get my dog ready. You're gonna to wanna to follow along. We're gonna try and take video of as many sessions as we're putting her through as I prep her to be ready with at least the bare minimums, if not a little more, coming into being able to guide with me in South Dakota, mid-October. To start with, I've got her collar conditioned. If you didn't see that, watch the last video with Shock where we showed how we started the collar conditioning process. I've done a few sessions in between there. I'm gonna do a couple reps in the beginning here to show you that and rep that. And then we're gonna move right into the meat and potatoes or the bird work for this one. We've got a distraction over here and you can see that she is keyed up on that. So rather than let her go and then be surprised when she runs over there, we're gonna let the distraction disappear and then we will continue on our session. Hey, let's go this way. Good. Now, I've got my leash off. Um, I'm using a DT Systems 1820 plus collar. Vibrate here, shock here. Good. Super simple, guys. Lower distraction right now, but still showing a firm understanding. As soon as I hit that vibrate, she's turning to come to me. Now, shock is our little um, yard pigeon flusher. So she's had some experience with birds, but not a ton, and not in this way. We're gonna start with, I've got a hold of a pigeon. Now some of you may say, I don't have pigeons. I don't have access to pigeons. Um, getting pigeons is not that difficult. First of all, we sell them at standingstonesupply.com. You can get homing pigeons, you can start your own loft. I've got videos out there that show how to build one, how to do all of this. It can be done if you have the area for it, and if not, a lot of hunting preserves or lodges or shooting preserves out there, have their own pigeon lot or would be willing to help you set one up for dog trainers, bringing more folks to the area. So all options, reach out if you've got more questions. How we're gonna do this is pull her attention with this bird, and as soon as she stops, the bird comes out. It was just a second, hopefully I didn't completely block it, but just a second. She got to chase, and then we get another one ready for her. This bird's missing some flight feathers. I don't think it's gonna quite maybe fly away. We'll see what happens. Again, she's excited. You see the focus, she's jumping, she wants that bird. Get out of here, bird. And she's off. I'm gonna move out here a little bit more. I've got my next bird ready. Good, lots of focus. Now, some of the things that we can see is she's already starting to figure out, oh, I'm not gonna be able to catch that. Maybe I could come back here though and get another one. Good girl. Get my next one out right away. And we're already seeing a little bit of slowdown out of her. It's pretty normal, it's a young puppy. You don't use very many reps in young puppies training sessions and this one isn't any different. It's 
Good. I tried to add a little bit of movement. That showed it was just a little bit too much for her. She tried to move with me every time, but making some improvements here. She's starting to figure out that as soon as she stops, she gets another bird. Oh! All right, I've got two left in this bag, and I think that's gonna be about all we need. Good dog. Aw, oh, Pigeon, you didn't help me out any there. Try and keep one wing tucked in. So I've got a little bit of a flapper here. Pull in attention and then stop here. Good. And that's gonna be it. All right, so some of the things I said I like to see and learn. First of all, she's gonna have some style. Every single time she came back there, she popped that paw up, like, look at me, baby. And then the next thing is, she chased the pigeons a pretty good distance for a little puppy like this. If she was maybe six months or eight months or 10 months old, and this was the first time we were doing this, we might see drastically more chase. But to chase as much as she did and stay as focused says, little shock butt has a fair amount of drive, which is important and it's a good thing to know. The next thing that I could recognize is, every single time, she had to come all the way back to me. Some dogs with an extreme amount of pointing desire are going to stop further and further away, and that's gonna happen. And I will probably do one, maybe two more sessions with her, and we'll be able to see if she moves into that process or if every single time she's running all the way back, that just says she has a lot of prey drive and desire, which we also see in her retrieving sessions. She loves to play fetch. So all of these things play into each other and gives us a better idea of how to read the dog, as well as some of the things that we can expect going into the future of her training. Now I said, I've got three months left. What we have to do is move from where she's at right now to pointing birds in the field, to shooting birds over her in the field, to ideally getting her woe trained. That's a big one for me when I'm guiding with dogs. Not quite as important if you're taking out just your own dog, but it's a good one. And then other than that, if she's woe trained, we're gonna rely on her natural ability to retrieve this year and I'm gonna get her out and start running braces so that she's used to that. And I've got only three months to accomplish all of this. We'll see if we can get it done. Y'all need to follow along. I'm the guy with the pink gun. This is Shock, and we will see you in our next video. Mm -hmm.